Well, the protests actually started peacefully uh, last Sunday uh, when in two cities, uh, two groups of people who oppose the corona measures, who who simply don't believe there is a pandemic, were protesting peacefully, and then it got quickly out of hand. Uh, then also this weekend saw the introduction of the curfew at 9 p.m., uh, as you mentioned, the first one since the Second World War, and many people see that as um, uh, infringing on their uh, civil liberties. So many people are upset. They took to the streets, and then it got out of hand, and in a couple of days, the violence has spread to many cities all around the country. Um, it must be said, however, that these are small groups Groups. It is not an organization. It's not clear what exactly they want. Uh, if you look at the images and when you walk on the streets, you see a lot of youngsters who simply are bored by the current lockdown measures who are already in place here in the Netherlands since October. Uh, bars and restaurants are closed, essential shops as well, schools are closed as well. So many youngsters take to the streets simply because they're bored. But the violence is of a degree that this country has not seen since four decades. So the country is in shock over what has happened here in the Netherlands over the last three days. Well, given what you have described, so how is the government responding to the violence as well as the protests? Well, uh, polit politicians have uh, reacted. Uh, uh, they were shocked. They were very angry. Uh, the mayor of Rotterdam, the country's second largest city, has said that these are shameful thieves. And on Tuesday, he posted a message on Twitter saying that they should not destroy their city. Uh, the government has said that they will stick to the current corona measures. And that means that the curfew and the lockdown will stay in place until at least February 9th. Um, next week, the government will evaluate if the measures work. And then they will decide whether it will be possible to loosen the measures or to tighten. But they already have said that they will punish the rioters severely. At the same time, police are preparing tonight on Tuesday for another night of violent protests all around the Netherlands. Okay, our correspondent Stefan Doveris, many thanks for your reporting.